In this video, I'm going to solve this question. Consider the least squares regression of y on a single variable x. Which of the following statements is true about such a regression? Well, in these statements, we are talking about r square when we have an intercept term in the model and when we do not have an intercept term in the model. This question is really straightforward. If you understand the formula to calculate the value of r square, when you have an intercept term in the model and when you do not have an intercept term in the model. First of all, note that we are regressing small y. So this is small y on a single variable x and this is small x. So this is a case of simple linear regression because we are dealing with only two variables and this is small y and this is small x. Well, I am familiar with the notations where we take capital Y instead of small y here and capital X instead of small x here. And actually, I would also prefer this to you that, you know, always work with the notations you are familiar with. So because I am familiar with the notation where we regress capital Y on capital X. So all the formulas that I remember are based on these notations. So these are the notations that I'm going to work with. So instead of small Y, I'm going to use capital Y and instead of small X, I'm going to use capital X. So keeping these notations in mind, my model. So let's write the regression model with intercept term. So if I follow these notations, then my model with intercept term, I can write it like this. So this is the population regression function, the stochastic population regression function. And similarly, I can write the stochastic sample regression function. So this is my stochastic sample regression function. And if I do not have intercept in the model, so here I'm writing the model when we do not have intercept term, so my stochastic population regression function is this because we do not have an intercept term and my stochastic sample regression function is this. So these are stochastic PRF that is your population regression function and these are your stochastic SRF stochastic sample regression function. Now let's write the formula to calculate R square when we have an intercept term in the model. So we can say in this case, the R square is equal to summation X I Y I whole square divided by summation X I square summation Y I square. And note that the X and Y that I've taken in this formula are small X I and small Y I. And this is how I'm defining my small X I. So my small X I is equal to capital X I minus X bar and small Y I is equal to capital Y I minus Y bar. Well, I'm not showing you the derivation of this formula. You can see this derivation from your textbook by Gujarati. Okay. So using these notations, we can write that R square is equal to summation X I minus X bar Y I minus Y bar. So these are capital X and capital Y whole square divided by summation capital X I minus X bar whole square summation capital Y I minus Y bar whole square. And now we know that the formula to calculate the correlation between X and Y is equal to summation X I minus X bar Y I minus Y bar divided by under root of summation capital X I minus X bar whole square multiplied by under root of summation capital Y I minus Y bar whole square. So this is the formula to calculate the correlation between y and x. And as you can see, this r square is equal to the whole square of this correlation. Okay, so the r square, the value of r square is equal to correlation whole square. Okay, so that means when we have intercept term present in the model, the r square is equal to correlation between x and y whole square. Now let's write the formula to calculate R square when we do not have an intercept term in the model. Well, if we do not have an intercept term in the model, instead of R square, we calculate raw R square. So this is what we call it. And the formula is summation capital X I Y I whole square divided by summation capital X I square summation capital Y I square. Now note that we call this R square raw r square and this is not mean corrected. So this is not mean corrected r square.
and we call it raw r square because in this formula we are working with raw sum of squares and cross products. We are not working with mean corrected sum of squares and mean corrected cross products. Now with all these information let's see that which of the following statements is true. So in part A it's mentioned that the coefficient of determination r square is always equal to the squared correlation coefficient between y and x. Well this statement is false because the coefficient of determination r square is equal to the squared correlation coefficient between y and x only when we have an intercept term in the model. When we do not have an intercept term in the model then this is the formula that we work with that is we work with the raw r square and this is not equal to correlation whole square. So statement A is false. Uh, let's move to statement B. The coefficient of determination r square is equal to the squared correlation coefficient between y and x only if there is no intercept in the equation. Well, this is false because if there is no intercept in this equation, then this is the formula and this is not equal to correlation whole square. Let's move to part C. The coefficient of determination r square is equal to the squared correlation coefficient between y and x only if there is an intercept in the equation. Well, this is what I showed you here. So when we have an intercept term present in the model, we can say that our r square is equal to correlation between x and y whole square. So that means this statement is true. And just for the sake of completion, let's have a look at the statement D as well. The statement D says that there is no relationship between the coefficient of determination r square and the squared correlation coefficient between y and x. Well, this statement is false because if you have an intercept term present in the equation, then r square is equal to the squared correlation coefficient between y and x. So the right answer is part C. And this is all for this question.